so here's what's going on. I finally got the truck back to the dealership. It was due for an oil change. It was telling me, you know, change oil soon or whatever. And we're doing this oil consumption test because it seemed, before we left for our summer trip, it seemed like it was using oil. So I had them start that test before and I had them document that before our warranty was up. because so I knew that during our road trip, we would cross the 36,000 mile threshold and then the truck would no longer be under warranty. So I made sure to have them document this and start this test before the warranty was up. So we are now back at the dealership doing the oil change, measuring the amount of oil that's in it. I added a quart back in Orlando. There's no oil on the dipstick now. So we'll see where this goes. We'll see where this heads. My assumption is that it's likely gonna need a rebuild, uh, new rings or something along those lines. Maybe they'll replace the motor. I'm not really interested in having them have to do either one of those. I'll take a new motor over a rebuild, uh, but <clears throat> I don't know what that means. We'll see what we'll see what they say. Now I looked up the oil consumption spec and for that truck, it was one quart per hundred gallons of fuel. And I thought that was interesting because back in the day when I was working on cars, we would do it by mileage, but I think uh, they're taking into account different driving conditions. So if you're towing and you're using a lot more fuel, that that will add to the oil consumption. If you're towing, it's likely to burn more oil than if you weren't towing. So I thought that was interesting that now they're going by gallons of fuel. I've been through many hundreds of gallons of fuel at this point, so I don't know really what the spec or the tolerance is going to be, but we'll find out. All right. Well, this is going to be an interesting one to sort out with them. So when they drained the oil and started to measure it, evidently there wasn't really enough to even measure. She said it was probably like less than a quart of oil. Not great news for, for the situation. It's been about 7,000 miles since the last oil change, which according to the instrument cluster, I still had about, what was that, 5% left or so, something like that. They recommend 5,000 miles on an oil change. I think the truck is calibrated for seven to 10,000 miles. But nonetheless, it burned essentially all of the oil within that period of time because I did add that other quart. They want me to come back in a thousand miles, let them check it again. Listen, I was a tech for 15 years. I know exactly what's happening. Um, it's just unfortunate to have to kind of jump through all these hoops and run through the ringer of all this crap. Um, but in an effort to get this taken care of under warranty, you know, we'll do what we gotta do. Anyways, that's the situation there. I gotta get this all squared away. We gotta finish getting the RV ready and then we are gonna hit the road and head to Daytona. All right, we are hitting the road to Daytona. I haven't even told you guys what we're doing yet. Um, let me make sure I get everything working. Trailer brakes, yeah, those are good. <laughs> those are good. All right, trailer brakes are good. Backup camera's good. Tire pressures are good. We're ready to hit the road. We gotta pick up Jade. Did we have Maddie with a totally different crew today. Hi. No real Brody bunch. No kids, no <laughs> wife. Uh, I got Maddie here, who I just met, who apparently I've known her family forever. Uh, you got T-Dog, my brother Travis, you guys haven't met him. Uh, we're going to pick up Jade. And then we're gonna caravan with our friends Doug and Amanda who have this massive fifth wheel. So hopefully you guys can check that sucker out too. Yeah. Uh, we are headed to Daytona for a like a triathlon event. Travis has been um, running like a maniac and riding. He's doing the run, bike, run rather than swimming. He's not a... Oh, it's double run. Yeah. Yeah, Dang. he really hates run himself. To the bike. <laughs> he really hates himself. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Beeb and I will be uh, drinking coffee or other beverages. Yeah. And watching it all happen. <laughs> we will not be partaking. Cheer. Thankful that we weren't there. I know. I wish I brought cheer signs. I should have. Yeah. Oh, well. We could get some pom poms. Go <laughs> Tito! The rest of the crew is here. See? What's up, buddy? <laughs> you guys ready to go racing? This is this is the life you live. This is nothing new to you. We're over here having some excitement and fun times. You guys are your top three. The athletes. What's up? What's up, Parker? What's up, Libby? All right, you want to lead? I'll just follow you. You can set the pace. All right, the car is full. Jade, cameras are rolling, just so you know. Cameras are a go. We're, we're <laughs> live. 
Oh, I need to brush my hair. Come on. <laughs> All right, we got everybody in here. Jade's in here. We got Doug and Amanda with us. You saw on the fifth wheel. So we will follow them. We'll hit the road, head to Daytona. Hopefully I could make it all the way to Bucky's. Oh, Bucky's! Without, without having to uh, stop for gas before that. Usually yeah. I can make it, so. You ready to race? <laughs> You're not, did you swim this morning? No. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm hoping we can find a YMCA when When's the last there. time you swam? It's uh, been a few weeks, like a month. Before the wedding, yeah, so. Do you want me to look up and see if there's a YMCA? Yeah, I see a pool Yikes. or something to get in there. <laughs> And done. You see that? That's pretty good. We don't want this on camera. No, we're waiting. Sometimes it takes me a while. <laughs> I don't have a camera. Like you, you. you know how to drive? <laughs> <laughs> All right, successfully arrived and getting unhooked here. Let's get things leveled out. We just got to go down two and a half inches in the front. I actually like to leave it about half an inch high in the front. You know why, T-Dog? Because mm. when the condensation from the AC runs to the back and doesn't drip on the front. I like it. Get that runoff. All right, that's it. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Get a cold drink, if you know what I'm saying. All right, we've gotten things set up. Because we're here for a triathlon, we got a lot of bike service to do for some of these guys. So Parker, who is a young athlete that we sponsor for go-kart racing, um, is here also competing in this triathlon because he is quite the ambitious young man. I think he's eight now, maybe he's still seven. They'll correct me shortly. That's who is in the fifth wheel next to us. I'll give you guys a tour of this shortly. But doing some work on his bike, getting some things corrected amongst many other things on some of these other bikes. So pretty cool stuff. I'll give you a quick look uh, at what we got going on here. Travis has this really cool TT bike, super high speed stuff. Yeah, that's the current situation. That's what we're up to. Maddie's holding it down. Team mom whoop, status. Team mom. We gave her the fancy boat chair, the inflatable chair, for being team mom. I guess that makes me the team dad. Yeah, we got this. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I hope you're charging good money to fix everyone's bike for them. You know, usually I just charge for pizza. <laughs> I got pizzas. Oh. Hey. Wait, how am I paying their bill? You're, yeah, because you're helping. I don't know. This doesn't add up. No. I didn't go to business school. Me neither, but at least I figured out how to make money. <laughs> no, I, haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. The sun is down. Steaks are on the grill. I got the fire pit out. Wooly mammoths and shit. Yeah. We got the lights up. We got a vibe, you know? We're having a good time. Um, everyone went for a quick bike ride this evening and we are getting ready to just sort of eat some food, hang out. Everyone wants to get some good sleep tonight to get ready to do some racing and that sort of thing tomorrow. All right, it's race morning. A lot of hustle and bustle around the RV this morning trying to get everyone set and ready. And tattoos, they have to put tattoos, like temporary tattoo of their numbers on them so uh, they can be identified and that sort of thing. So um, everyone trying to scramble to get that done. Getting their bikes and race shoes set up at the transition area. Hey, I know that guy. 
Hey man, how are you? Ah. Angela, you gotta meet the coolest guy in the world. So if I'm being honest, I'm just sort of shocked that I'm here. Not so much for the triathlon. Like it's cool. I, I, this is not my wheelhouse whatsoever. I have no idea what's happening here. But mostly because Travis is competing in it. And I would never tell him this to his face. So don't let him hear me say this. I'm really, really proud of him. I almost get emotional thinking about it. This is... <laughs> This is not his wheelhouse at all either. Health and fitness was not really much of his life at all until the past probably year and a half or so. And he's taking it so serious, he's probably lost 40, 50 pounds, maybe more, I don't know. And now he's, you know, competing in something like this. Very cool. And I'm excited to see him race. Now, where we are now, this is the transition area. So Travis will run one mile to his bike, he'll get on the bike, he'll ride, I think it's 13 miles, which will be a handful of laps around the track, I think it's four laps. It's a three mile loop. Five laps, five laps. thank you for the correction. Five laps. <laughs> and then he will do um, like a 5K run, which is another lap or so around the track to finish. I'm excited to watch, this will be awesome. I just realized I just lost so much footage. I shot like all morning in slow motion. So you guys missed a lot. Zuri went off on a little adventure. She just like walked out of the RV and then Travis went to go give her medicine and she was MIA. So like the entire track was pointing us. We saw her over here, we saw her over here. It was like a massive dog hunt, but we found her. An incredible like dog trainer, um, athlete had her was using her metal as a leash. That was pretty funny, so thank you. Um, what else happened this morning? John raced, you guys probably just saw some, maybe some footage of that. I don't know if that was in slow-mo or not. Some photos for sure. Okay, time to watch Tito race. Okay, so according to the app, uh, he should be wrapping up the bike race right now, and then so he'll be in that transition area that you guys saw earlier. He'll put the bike up, he'll switch out his shoes, he'll take the biking shoes off, put the running shoes on, hang up his helmet, that sort of thing. Um, get some food, some, some calories in him, and uh, he'll begin his 5K running race, or continuation of the race, I should say. It's crazy. Here he comes, I think. Let's go, T Dog. You're doing good. Yeah. I'm so proud of you, dude. No. I'm proud of you, too. <laughs> Let's go. All right, T Dog. Good luck out there. Dude, congrats. Oh, how good it is. Good job, dude. Go get your official so photo. Go get your yeah. official photo. I'm so proud of him. You know, and none of this is really my cup of tea. I have no interest really in triathlons, but it is really cool to watch people do things that they're really good at or passionate about and just kind of another culture being exposed to that I wouldn't really otherwise be exposed to. I think it's fun. It's cool. I discovered when Doug was pulling in that he had some cords showing on a tire. Uh, so we swapped out the tire, but then we realized why there was cords showing. Well, there he goes. <laughs> I'm getting video camera. Oh yeah. Send this to Alliance. Good thing you got those big muscles, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> They're not just for show. Put them to use. We ran into a little bit of a situation last night where the girls were doing dishes after we cooked dinner and uh, the sink started filling up with water and then they thought it was clogged, but then I was like, looked at it, it's like, oh no, the gray tank is full and the sink was filling up. So thankfully, there's a pump out truck here that does some service around the around the track so he's gonna help get us pumped out 
Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Jade is out doing her thing. She's got a massive distance to cover. She did a one mile swim, crushed it this morning in about 50 minutes or 40 something minutes, I think. 56 mile bike ride and then like another, I don't know, it's a long run, another 13 mile run, I think, or something like that. So I figured while she's doing that, I'll give you guys kind of a quick tour look at the RV campground here at Daytona. Um, I was here in April and I camped out in the fields. It was a dry camp situation. So I was using a lot of solar and batteries and all that kind of stuff. Um, no water hookups, no sewer hookups, just camping in the grass out there. This time we are in the RV park here. They've got pads with power and water, but no sewer. But keep in mind, there's like shared water thing. So thankfully I had two hoses and it was just long enough to get me to the water hookup into the RV. Cause I had to go around to the other side and then up the front of the RV. So um, you need some water length and power. Um, I about maxed out my power cord as well. And they do have a contract with the company. They got a pump out truck that comes around, you know, some sort of schedule. We caught him yesterday. He pumped it out as you guys saw. So that was, that was nice to have because we definitely needed it. But here's sort of the general situation and a blank pad. I think they say it's about 60 feet of length that you get by about 20 feet, 18 to 20 feet wide. Um, but it's plenty for us with the 2500 and a 39 it's a 40 foot trailer so we're about 60 feet in length total um, and we're good to go i tell you i'm always doing this in the rain uh, i just got everything packed up and loaded up we are ready to hit the road i was racing those clouds but that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video uh give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to the channel if you aren't already we'll see you guys in the next video peace